half a teaspoon of baking powder. Thought you said, I thought I heard you say corn flour, but I'm not familiar with that. Cornstarch. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sweet. 1.8 grams. All right, and then we want to get. It's a little bit tricky. Like right, put that there, and just kind of like bang the sides so it loosens it up from the the bowl, like that. Is the purpose of it to be like a thickener? Uh, so it, uh, it results in a uh, less gluten. So it creates like a thickener, like a, um, the starch in plain flour, but it doesn't have gluten in it. So it creates um, a substitute for plain cake flour to give a lighter, fluffier cake. So yeah. All right, so bang like this. And so the aim of this is to make sure we've got no lumps. It separates the granules of flour and also combines the baking soda, sorry, the baking powder and the cornstarch throughout the, the plain flour so that we're getting like an equal distribution like that. Cool. Fabulous. And I've got the salt, so we'll just put a little bit of salt in there too. But we are using butter, so you can use oil if you want, but we're going to use some butter. Um, remember, when you're substituting butter for oil, oil for butter, you need to be aware that butter is uh, about 80 to 83% fat, and the rest of it is like milk solids um, and water. So when we're substituting that for... Uh, Oil, oil is 100% oil, oil 100% fat. So you need to use uh, a little bit more butter. So you need to account for that 15% um, difference with more butter for a substitution for oil um, or the other way around. So if you have, for instance, um, 100 grams of butter, you would only add about 80, 85 to 80, yeah, I would say 85 or 83 uh, grams of oil because if you, uh, you need to add like the, what we're going for is the moisture content. In the cake, the water content, if we're using butter, is going to evaporate and you're only going to be left with that 85 grams or 85% of oil to create moisture in your cake. The rest of it's going to leave. Whereas you would think of like, Someone, oh, let me, what's my, like, what, what analogy have I got? Let's think. Okay, so people come over to, I'm thinking, all right. So if butter comes to your house to help you, hmm, I don't know what I can think of talking about. Um, all right, so imagine if butter comes to your house to help you move furniture, right? And butter comes over um, and then the muscle portion of the butter is only 